get you can find out more about our work at fanengagement.net register for free and get access to the fan engagement hub with more detailed data and case studies from the 2018 2019 and 2019 2020 fan engagement indexes by the way from now on we'll be publishing one edition a week each tuesday including the fan engagement chat baz chat with baz schneider and did they ask the fans with tim crow don't forget please like subscribe and share it really does help our visibility enjoy the show Right, Stephen. Anyway, look, we had a, obviously had a little bit of a chat in advance because um, I this is the first time, I, you know, sort of what I would broadly call minority groups. And as I said, I'm not, you know, it's not a particularly wonderful phrase to use, but. Um, non sort of umbrella groups because obviously my experience always been with supporters trusts um uh at, you know when it comes to fan organizations i have dealt a bit with you know ultras groups and things like that but in general that's the group that i you know it's the most um organized type of fan organizations the group that i've know the best um and so it's my first sort of conversation and it's really sort of i'm quite interested to know where a group like <clears throat> marching out together fits in the overall sort of mosaic of football fandom at a club like Leeds, what it's been like.